joined by Cleveland Guardians infield coach and third base coach Rugalis Odor. Of course, we are familiar with Rugi uh, being with Akron in recent years and now up with the Guardians. Now on the major league side of spring training, Rugi, um, what's the spring been like for you? Well, first of all, I'm excited to be part of the uh, uh, Cleveland Guardians coaching staff and uh, uh, it's been different. Uh, as a manager, uh, I'm in charge of everything basically and, and uh, especially the workout. So here uh, it's just the infielders, but it's a huge responsibility that I love to have. So it's been, it's been nice so far. How does the routine or maybe just how that routine happens differ from what you had experienced in past years in your role and, and compared to what you're doing now? Well, as an infield coach now, I'm in charge of obviously the infielders and, and, and we have uh, three different slots where we work with them. And uh, one of them is from 8 to 8.45 in the morning where they have the, the luxury to, to work on areas that they, they, they would like to work on. And then the other two slots is during the morning before the game, and uh, and that's where they they work as a, as a as a team, and they do basically what the team is demanding them to to do. But um, yeah, we have three different slots uh, throughout the day, and and it's been it's been uh, incredible. And now, getting to work under manager Stephen Vote, who is new to the organization, you're kind of the, the veteran, one of the veteran presences here. Um, there, how did he make it special for you uh, joining the major league coaching staff here at spring training? I'll tell you what, he did one thing that I won't forget for the rest of my life. Uh, he was introducing every single staff member in the organization and um, the medical department, strength and conditioning department, uh, front office department, and then he got to the coaches and and after naming over 40 people, he, I said, well, he probably forgot about me and, and uh, he was saving my name for the last. And, and um, you know, he said, you know, a couple of uh, nice things about me. And, and he said, well, you know, this last person, uh, everybody knows here and, and uh, I want, you know, everybody to, to get uh, to know that I'm, I'm very proud that Rugi is getting the opportunity to to work with us in the big leagues, and uh, his name is Rugi Odor, and, and that was that was cool, you know, from him, and uh, um, I really appreciate that. So that was a very special moment. What was the reaction from everybody else? That, yeah, know? everybody was clapping, and, and everybody stood up. Uh, I was sitting next to Cookie, to uh, Carrasco, and Car Carrasco said, Rugi, you got you have to stand up and say something, and he made me stand up, and I thank everyone. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a cool moment. And now you get to work with, with Vote, um, he being in the manager's uh, seat um, for the first time. Uh, and, and you're in, still in that, that third base coach role, uh, one you've held as well as a manager. Um, how's the relationship come along for the two of you and your communication and, and working out that in the games in spring training? It's been great. Uh, the communication is daily. And um, even though this is his first time managing, uh, he's been in the game you know, from for a long time and uh, he knows what he's doing and and obviously um, I'm adjusting to him he's adjusting to me and, and I have to pick him up on every single pitch and I gotta get his signs and and uh, but but those are things that uh, we are already working on and and, and uh, uh, it's been it's been uh, pretty special right now how is your approach or, or maybe what prepares you for that approach different um, coaching at third now in some of these spring training and ultimately during the regular season um, compared to at the, the levels that you did uh, with Akron and others? We have a lot of information here. We have people who are going to provide the, the information that I need, not just from our players, but also for, for, for the outfielders, for the opposite outfielders. I need to know how quick they get to the baseball, the arm strength and, and the angles they take. and and uh, their aggressive, aggressiveness they have. And, and also, obviously, combining those things with the game situation and, and the type of speed and aggressiveness that our players have, I have to make decisions there. But uh, I would say the difference is that, that I'm getting more information than I was getting in the minor leagues. And coming to this team, uh, being part of the major league coaching staff, you're coming into a clubhouse that has so many players uh, that you worked with. And, and now being big leaguers, um, what's it like to see the difference for them in what are the differences from who they were when they worked with you in Akron? 
I think one of the main differences is that they're more mature uh, and, and, and they are uh, more consistent at executing different plays. But uh, at the end, you know, they're, they're great kids, they, they're great human beings, and they make me feel uh, comfortable here because I had them in the past and, and, and I know who they are, I know their personalities, and that makes the transition easier. Uh, I want to ask you about a few players. Um, so far this spring, Angel Martinez, who was just with Akron even last year, um, has had a strong start, uh, just looking at some basic offensive numbers. But um, what have you noticed from him so far this spring? He's been taking a lot of consistent at-bats from both sides of the plate. Uh, last year in Akron, uh, he struggled offensively, and he found you know, his stroke and um, had a good off season. And, and he said, Ruge, I found my stroke and now he's getting on playing better and, and from both sides of the plate, and he's moving around in the infield. So uh, the difference from Angel is that he's taking quality at bats here in spring training, so he's, he's doing great. Um, Brian Rocchio, when you had in Akron for quite a long time, um, and now has a little bit of big league experience, and now it is really to, trying to, to make this, this roster make an impact on the team this year. Um, what have you noticed so far from him and, and the stage he's at now? Uh, with Rocchio, he's, He's more mature. He's, uh, I remember when uh, in Akron he was getting upset when things were not going his way. Now he knows that that's part of the game. Uh, it, it, you're not going to go 4-4-4 four, four, four every day, so you're going to have to take your 0-4-4 four, four and find a way to help the team win ball games. So seeing him how to handle those ups and downs has been great, so I'm proud of him. Um, now you get to work up close with Andres Jimenez, not one that you coached in the minor leagues, but um, I know you're familiar with uh, being from Venezuela as well. What's it like to watch a, a Gold Glove winner up close and what he does? Well, I was invited to big league camp in the last few years, so I, I had an idea, you know, who he was. I saw him in the WBC too, uh, in winter ball too in Venezuela. So uh, before this year, I had a pretty good relationship with him. And, and uh, it's just uh, uh, the way he goes about his business. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he won a gold glove, but, but it's in the past. So he's, he's, he wants to, to be the, the best second baseman that he can be. And, and he pays attention to details and, and always trying to, to do things right. So it's, it's, it's impressive to see his work ethic so far. Um, in spring training, kind of the nature of this time and getting ready for the regular season, um, there are, for lack of a better term, competitions, you know, to, okay, who's, we only have so many spots that we can take at least to, to start the season. Um, what kind of message do you give to the group of, of guys who might be in that, that situation of, hey, I'm, I'm trying to make the, the team, so to speak, at the start of the season or, or show what I can do later on in the season? What, what do you tell them? Well, the message is just control what you can. Some things are out of the hands, and even though they, they want to make the team, and they, if, if they start thinking about, do I have a chance or not, then uh, they're going to make it more difficult than what it is. So the message I'm sending is go out there, have a good time, and, and control what you can. And, and, and at the end, you know, you know, people who are going to make those decisions are going to end up making it for you, but you just go have a good time and, and control what you can. Um, being in the major leagues now, what uh, have you been looking forward to and, and what are you excited about that's still to come? Uh, opening day, opening day in, in Oakland and at home in Cleveland. So those are going to be uh, two big days for me, for my family, and, and uh, I'm excited and, and can't wait for those two days. So, And uh, thinking back about you've been in so many places and influenced so many people, as your story uh, tells, um, but about the time in Akron, thinking about it now, um, what do you, you take away and what, what sticks with you right, right now from that time and the people there? Uh, people, uh, every person in Akron made my job easier. And uh, I think, I mean, you're one of them. I really uh, believe that, that the people around the, the, the town did an unbelievable job. And, uh, you know most of those people. I mean, Chad is one of them, club, best clubhouse manager in the game. And, uh, um, you know, our GM, the front office, uh, fans, I mean, the players. We had great players 
uh, but, but we have good people. And, and the year we won, uh, 2021, that's a special year in Akron too. So, so many great experiences that I had and memories in Akron that I, I really thank everyone for those moments. Well, Rugi, we're so proud of you and excited to see you now with the Cleveland. Best of luck the rest of spring training as it, and as we get the season going. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's Rugi Sodor, infield and third base coach for the Cleveland Guardians.